ladies and gentlemen, Mambo number five. Hi guys, it's Beth Hoyt. It's me. I'm so glad you're here. Um, this is going to be a really fun half an hour, I promise. You trust me, right? You do. You don't. You don't. It's too soon. We'll work on that. We're going to work on it. Okay, well, it's our big Wednesday show, and we've got a treat today. It's Retta, a.k.a. Donna from NBC's Parks and Rec is here, and we have something pretty freaking special in store for you. How special? Uh, I knocked out a rib bone out of place um, for it, but it was worth it. Hopefully, if you like it, please like it. Oh my God, I think you'll like it. Uh, as per usual, Red and I will be answering your live comments and your questions, so don't just watch the show. Send questions or comments for Retta to my Twitter at the Beth Hoyt, or get in that live chat stat like ASAP, like now. Anyway, we'll be getting to that in a little while. But first, I want to talk to you about this really affirming feature I read in Glamour magazine at the gym. It's called um, "30 Things Every Woman Should Know and Should Have by the Time She's 30." So I'm now I'm close to becoming 30. I'm I'm. I'm somewhere between one and eight years away from 30. So I should, I should have and know most of these things, right? Okay, let's take a look at a few of them. Okay, they say I should have um, one old boyfriend you can imagine going back to and one who reminds you of how far you've come. Okay, I do have those. Does it still count if they are both now gay? Okay. Um, a purse, a suitcase, and an umbrella you're not ashamed to be seen carrying. No, no, no. Uh, all right, something ridiculously expensive that you bought for yourself just because you deserve it. I have bought that ridiculously expensive thing, but it wasn't out of self-love, but rather self-hate. It was like, um, like, let's see you pay for that, Beth Hoyt. Oh, why? So maybe I'm not going to achieve glamour girl status, okay? I'm not, but I have things, I swear. <laughs> Listen, I've got to find a way to get up in the morning um, since I am one to, to like one to, one to eight years away from turning 30. So here's my list of under 30 achievements, all right? Um, have a picture taken of yourself as a baby inside a doll's box because your brother and sister put you there. Yes, that is not a doll, that is me. Check, did that. Um, how about within a month of moving to New York City, believe some gypsy woman that says you need full body shots and pay her in cash in New Jersey for photos such as this one. That's a good one. Use that a lot. God. Be a bridesmaid in the beautiful wedding for a good friend and then do it again. And then do it again. <clears throat> and then do it again. One more time. And then, yep, let's, and then do it again. Okay, let's end on this one. Um, spend one Halloween awkwardly looking uh, so much like a man that your friends don't even recognize you. I was going for Russell Brand. I realize I look a little um, Captain Hook meets Prince. I, I see that. Uh, so these are just some things I've personally achieved before 30. You have to make your own list. Make yourself feel good. Right, ladies? Guys, you don't have to do anything. You're perfect just the way you are. Do we feel better or worse now? Oh my gosh, are you starting to not trust me? Are you starting? No, don't worry, okay? Because listen, I've got something for you. It's time for a premiere of one of our My Damn Channel original comedy series. It stars Steve Renazizi from The League. Get ready to love and hate him. It's Daddy Knows Best with Game Night. A penis! Dirty, dirty Sanchez! Uh, my money shot! Yes. Oh, yeah, money shot! I said that too, money yeah. shot. I told you Porno Pictionary was the way to go. Hey, why don't we kick it up a notch and make this into a swingers party? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I choose Nancy. What? That little filly. What are you talking about? For the swingers party, I thought we were choosing up, like, draft picks, no? No, that was a joke, Steve. Yeah, no, I totally, <laughs> I get that. I was kidding too. I would, I'm not even attracted to Nancy, so, ugh. So now my wife's unattractive. On the contrary, my friend, wife's smoking hot, and if I was single, I would be in that. Oh yeah? Wow. Oh yeah, you would just, no. You would do no, that? No, no, Steve, actually you're the last person in this room that I'd want to have sex with. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know Brad's here, right? Have you met Brad? 
sitting right over there. Yeah, Brad. I met Brad. You're telling me you would have sex with Brad before you had sex with moi? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, you know what? Yeah. You'd have to get behind me in line, though, because I would totally <laughs> hit that. Oh, oh, I would totally hit that. Uh, Look at me. <laughs> Everybody's getting on the Brad wagon. Yeah, Steve, OK? He's smart, he's sophisticated, and he speaks three languages. It's very sexy. Uh, two and a half, Spanish, French, and a soup son of Klingon. <laughs> That's not even a language. What are we talking about? Phil, can you do me a favor and help me out here? Help a brother out. What am I gonna say? Brad's awesome. I gotta agree with the girls, you know? I, I, he's pretty attractive, and if I was gonna have a relationship with a man, if I was gonna experiment, I'd want Brad to be my first. Oh, dear Jesus hey, Christ. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Are you telling me right now, you're looking at me and telling me you would have sex with Brad before you let me enter you as your first? Yes. You're aggressive. You, you would, uh, I, I feel like you would hurt me down there. You and, have no and, idea. Yeah, you're like a bull in a china shop. Damn right I would wreck you. You know what's wrecking me right now? All this talk about Brad being better than me in bed. You have no idea what I have to offer, huh? You see this move, Brad? You cannot even fathom what oh, this move is. No, see, oh. don't do this. Nancy, stare at my don't face right him. now. Watch, there, double please. time. Emily, no, boop, 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 honey, boop, no. boop, 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 boop. Just stop, Steve, No, please. I will not stop, because Brad started this with his macho atmosphere. Uh, you want to have a hump off? I'm not going to hump the air. I'm, I'm too busy humping my wife. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, wow, lucky her. In your okay. face. <laughs> no more, OK? Sure. No, no, no. How about that? Four and a half inches? Cut, no VDs, grade A meat. That's that's enough. That's it. You cross the line, Steven. All right, all get right. out. It's, it's get, time for you to go. Get the fuck out. I'm so sorry. I'm oh, so yeah. sorry. No, we're not sorry. Opposite of sorry. Happy. Steve, are you happy? No, I'm not happy. Oh, really? So you're sorry? No, Finally. They didn't even let me show them that go-to move, the hot toboggan where Don't, I do the please, whirly honey, twirl. Stop. I'm gonna go Just back stop. and show Brad. That'll put me over the top. Hey, Brad, check Come this on. one out. He's just awful, right? But also, like, you hope he'd pick you or be your friend. That's terrible, but it's true, right? Anyways, did you like that? You want some more? Have you gone to MyDimeChannel.com recently? You should. We gave it a shower, we washed her hair, we gave her a blowout. She's got more episodes of Daddy Knows Best and Workless and John Friedman Internet Program. And that's where we'll put all of our 30 MyDime Channel original series, comedy series, after they premiere on this show. They're gonna go there, and of course, you can revisit our old classics and our gems like Gigi and Wayne Days and Horrible People. They are so worth rewatching. Just go there. But not till this show is over, um, because something big is coming up. So when I found out that Retta was going to be our guest this week, I knew we had to do something special with her. And then I found out that Retta, just like me, is obsessed with the NBC show Smash. They're going to be auditioning for New Dancers in June. I just I figured Retta and I needed to be ready. So we contacted one of the choreographers of Smash, and she helped us whip up a special dance duet that will be debuting live at the end of today's show. But first, um, a look inside the excitement of training for a dance number on My Damn Channel Live. I was really excited to hear that Valerie was choreographing this piece. I feel like once they see this, they're gonna be like, Bring it, Retta's, bring her on. I'm so excited, I'm, so, I'm really nervous. I, I love Smash, and I just want an opportunity to like show them, you know, what I got. A lot of times you just never know, like you could find like the next star. I am like, I'm just like a bundle of nerves. I, I'm, already, I'm already beating myself up. Okay, let's do this. So I saw Retta, doing a few moves before we started learning to dance. It was really good. It'll probably be easier for her. You know, it's nice to have a partner who can handle herself and just really like, you know, I can glance over if I lost. Retta is awesome. Like, I could just, she didn't even have to move. I don't know that I have a process. I kind of just feel the music and my body takes over. She's just ready to go at any moment, like just, just like a cat. I don't find the rehearsals too challenging, uh, and I kind of had a dream about it last night, so I came in feeling I, I already knew. I don't, you know, overthink it. So Beth works really hard. 
She's very persistent. Like sometimes I have to go over things like over and over and over again. I'm just really shocked at how hard this is. That's She's the left one. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, this one. Right. I got it. Yeah. It's like she doesn't know the difference between her left and her right. Yeah. Are you sure it's the left? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I trust you. I don't trust her. Valerie's being a little tough on me. I think she's not understanding that it'd be better for me if she was nice. It, it feels personal, and I know it's not, but it feels like she's attacking me. Just because I just need a little more time, you know, maybe than Catherine McPhee does. And turn, and press, turn, press, and face her. You think you got that? No. I mean, Beth is very sweet, but I feel like she kind of pulls a little something from me and I don't want them to think that I'm on her level. How are you doing? I'm good. Okay. I just, I don't, I don't know if she has what it takes. I feel like she's attacking me. I feel like Retta is attacking me. I feel like, every, I feel like everyone's attacking me. I just, I just want to be a, a dancing star on television. Since I started watching Smash, that's all I wanted. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm just saying, I better not see any tears. Dance is no place for drama. She needs to pull it together. I don't think this is for me. I think I've, I've, I've gotta quit. I think I'm done. I'm sorry, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Seriously? Yeah, dude, why did you book this? Why am I doing this? She's in the hallway crying. Mom, <laughs> I'm not cut out for this. I'm just doing a favor for a friend. That's all it is, really. The choreographer's fine, she's great. I mean, she can't make it any simpler unless we just stand there and clap hands. I'll be nice. Ugh. Beth, no, come back, it's fine. It just, it felt really good when Retta reached out to me. You're great. Uh, when I was having a bad time. Well, you know, after working on it a little bit, um, I made the choice to simplify a bit. Well, we've pared it down and made it simpler. So, I think she'll be okay. She'll be fine, she'll be fine. It'll, it's simpler, so it'll be good. Mm. I'm so concerned about you touching me. I'm like trying to do it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, Retta just like, we just nailed it, first of all. And she just reminded me of like why we're doing this in the first place. And it's just to dance. It's because dancing feels so good. To have the courage to succeed, you must have the courage to fail. I wrote that. However our performance turns out today, I'm, I'm proud of the both of us, mostly myself. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna keep it together. Um, in three minutes, Retta's gonna be live right here, so send us your comments and your questions now, 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 do it now. But first, we've got another My Damn Channel original comedy premiere. It's from Junior Varsity. It's the Linked Out series with Scurry. In my head. Oh, wow. Can you please call 911 for me? Actually, check this out. Hi, Scurry. Please call 911. Calling mom. No, not call 911. Calling mom now. No, 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 no. Call, call 911. Your eye is going numb. No, 911. Searching for plums. Jesus Christ, just dial 911. Please hold. <laughs> you believe this? Uh, hey, how's my car doing, by the way? It's fine. I just. I'm losing a lot of blood. Hi, this is Scurry. Oh, Scurry! Unfortunately, I'm away from the phone right now. Son of a... I think I might pass out. Hey, could you just give me a minute? It's just... Scurry! Please remain calm. Please call 911. Requesting apology. Apology? For what? Offensive tone. Scurry insulted. Oh, yeah. my God. Maybe you should just apologize. No, wait. Nope, not gonna happen. 
Sorry. Apology accepted. Wait, no, 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 that apology was for him, not for you. Dialing 911. Cancel the call. Dialing 911. Cancel it. Canceling call. Finally. Jesus. Something goes right. Oh, shit. You're next, Dean. What? Scurry self destructing in five, four, three, two, one. Darling, did you know we're live right now? I did. It's fantastic, Jerry. You know what else is fantastic? I had the boys in the back rig up this virtual sensor bar I can throw across your mouth if you want to start swearing. Oh. What's your favorite cuss word? No. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm terribly sorry. Hey, guys. Hey, Extreme 29. You don't believe this is live? Do you believe now? Okay, um, you guys, look who's here, it's Retta. Retta is a comedian and an actress, and you probably know her from NBC's Parks and Rec. She plays Donna. Yeah. I think of her as my dance partner, yes. my BFF. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. Retta, thank you so much for being here. No problem. This is no awesome. Problem. Now, um, one of my favorite things you did in the show, and I'm sure I'm not alone in this, is the Treat Yourself episode with you and Aziz and Adam Scott's characters. Um, so we thought in honor of that and your presence, we would treat you today. So, Brett, if you could just, just, and I'm also, you know, I'm treating myself. Too. Hello. Hi Shirtless. there. How are you hey. doing? <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy. Cheers. Cheers. All right. So, mm. you guys just talk amongst yourselves. We're just going <laughs> to drink. No. Uh, Retta, when did you become a, a one name per person? I, um, when did that happen? When you're like, don't need that. I started a stand up in North Carolina, and my full name is Marietta Surleaf. And when the MC came up and said, who's next? I said, I am. He said, what's your name? I said, Marietta Serluf. He was like, what? I was like, uh, just Retta. And that's how I got just Retta. Where did Retta, where is Retta and Marietta Serluf? In Georgia, they pronounce it May Retta. Oh, May Retta. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm so far, I just just proved how far from Georgia I am. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's, that's a great story. Mm -hmm. Sure. So you, uh, on Parks and Rec, it's just like, it's the, one of the most consistently funny shows on TV. And are you guys constantly cracking each other up? How often do you take breaks from, I'm sorry, I'm getting weak. Can we just have like some, some nourishment? I'm just needing something else to, okay. how often are you guys crack, oh, that makes me feel, yeah, I'm excited. How often do you guys crack each other up and you just can't even complete the scene? Do you feel like you lose a lot of time on set from that? Yeah, but it's worth it, because, you know, if you're happy with a job, you'll never work. I think, and that's that, that saying. That's if good. You, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. God, that's good. Here she is, speaking the words of wisdom. Mm -hmm. The camera finds you so well in Parks and Rec and like just finds your subtle little eye movement and, and you're like, you, you're so hilarious in just the subtlest ways. Does that happen often, like through improv scenes? Yeah, <laughs> like that. Um, um, I think it's because I don't have a lot of dialogues. So I feel like I... Okay. You just can speak it. Do you find them? Do they find you, or do they script that in when they find your eyes like oh, that? Oh no, they find you. Yeah, yeah, the, it's a, not usually scripted. That must feel great to just know that they're looking out for that, and you can just throw that. And well, I'm a camera whore, they, so I'm always guys, yeah. looking for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's good. You so being on TV is awesome, and that show is just. Did you know from the beginning that that was going to be a special show? When you well, 
Because Amy Poehler was a part of it, I thought it That's might be. That's a little hint. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you know, you never know. Mm -hmm. Especially since our, our our numbers are not what reflective as a pop music. Yeah, is. I, I feel like the Nielsens are no longer a good test as to whether people are watching because we have so many fans, and I feel like our demographic watches online more and yeah, that sort of thing. Exactly. I mean, these people, you kids know about this. Exactly. Uh, can we get something sweet too, Brad? I'm sorry, I'm just gonna like, let's just like to wash down them. Little Ooh. finger sandwiches that are sweet. Look at that. So it's great to be on a TV show and that feels good, but do you miss doing stand up? I do, but I'm, I'm actually getting back into it this night. Right, you're in New York doing stand up all week long? I mean, every night. Live shows every night, yeah. You're working it. Yeah, I'm trying. What, so when you, you said earlier that when you first started in New York um, doing stand up, the crowds intimidated you? What is it about the New York crowds that. Um, was I was told uh, that it was probably a tourist crowd, and they didn't necessarily, you know, get it. Yeah. Um, but, oh, yeah. But I've only done stand up twice in uh, in New York in in clubs. Thank you. No, I'm good. Thank you. I'm sorry. I've had a tough day. <laughs> um, do you do stand up in LA? Yes. How are the audience, How are the locals that are different from New York locals in stand up? Oh, I don't know that they're that different. Oh. Okay, that's fair. We don't need it. If they're not that different, you need to find a difference. Yeah. Um, do you write down your sets? Do you change it up? Do you write uh, it down on a piece of paper? Or do you do, how do you, I sometimes write process? the, I write the, each bit has a name. Mm -hmm. So I usually write a list of bits that I'm gonna try to get into the set, depending on how long the set is. Um, unless I'm doing new stuff, and then in which case, I have to write down key points in the bit. Mm -hmm. But I can't. I don't. I try not to use it on stage. I try to just like memorize it before I get up there. Yeah. Do, do you talk to? Do you do it to yourself, like in your hotel room? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. good. Do you ever do it walking on the street and pretending you're on the phone? No. Hmm. That'd, That'd be crazy. Crazy. Yeah. That'd be super. Yeah. <laughs> it'd be super weird. Gosh, it's hot in here though. Are you feeling warm? It is a little warm. I don't yeah. know if it's the champagne or mm -hmm. what, but it is a little. Can warm. we get like? Can you help us out? It's hot. <gasps> oh, There's so peanut you're butter in this. All right. Oh, is it? That was awesome. Do people that. ever stop in the tree, street? I'm sure this happens. And tell you to treat yourself. Mm -hmm. How often? Once a day? Three times a day? Mm -hmm. Feels great, Brett. Thank you. I probably get it three or four times a day. Mm -hmm. Depending on where I'm at. If I stay what do home, you do? then no, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people just yelling at your window. <laughs> like, like yes. Uh, what do you do when they do that? Are you like, I'm do, I'm working on it. Yeah. I'm like, I'm on my way. <laughs> Uh, you know, the mall's right around the corner. Yeah. To make it happen. You've been, you're saying that you've been doing stand up every night and you don't have time for dinner. Because you're like, you're doing like multiple, you're right. literally doing a show every night in New York City. Yes. You're telling me your, your lineup. It's yeah. intense. Have you hit up some good, like, have you, have you gone to dinner at some good New York places late night? No. I, I mean, I, I only got, I did get to eat at Benny's Burritos last night. We were just going to go there as a yeah. Madame Channel crew. We didn't, but. I, because it was across the street from, uh, one of the places I was supposed to perform. How was it? Did you have a good burrito? Yeah, it was pretty decent. And I'm not, I don't normally like Mexican food, so. That's good. You branched yeah. out and you, you treated yourself. I didn't do it. I'm drunk. <laughs> also, I'm just like super tight because I popped the rib yeah, out during our dance I piece. Know. No, um, you didn't pop it doing the dance piece. I think piece. I broke you, a rib. You popped it celebrating having it was. done it. It was actually, <laughs> when I hugged the choreographer, I. How you hurt yourself hugging. It's because she's got a choreographer, know. a tight little choreographer's shoulder, and it went right in my rib cage, and it popped. And I then, like I, and then I picked her up. Cage and pointing here. Well, it's, it's in a tender <laughs> spot, and I think I broke. I think I think my lung is punctured. Yeah, but it was no, worth it. Sure it was so okay. worth it. But I'm so tight, Brett. Can you just like, can you just get up in there and just like, work it out? What do they call this when the hair no, is touch a, a in a line? Like this? What do they call that? Don't they, isn't there a name for that? He doesn't speak. Oh, okay. We'll ask them about it later. It's all right. I speak. The girl with the peanut butter in her, in her voice, she's the one that gets to speak. No, <laughs> do we know the name of that? We'll find out. Tell us the name of that is when the, when the hair comes to a widow's peak on the it's chest. Like a, <laughs> <laughs> a widow's peak. The man's widow's peak. Oh, man. Thanks, Red. It was nice to chat with you after all wow, that dancing and hard work and just jealous. really like hang out. You're such a cool lady. Get up and red on a little I, bit. She needs a little I, bit of that, too. Can I get some? Yeah, she needs some, too. Oh man, I need to loosen up that. I need to loosen up mentally for a big number later. Mm. Wow, I can't think. My brain is jumping around <laughs> in my head. I'm really nervous about later. Are you? 
Can you no, get ahead of Brett a little bit with some massage? Brett and I are going to dig into Twitter on our live comments page Ooh, when we come back. Nice. Um, uh, so on the, right now, send uh, in your okay. questions. In the meantime, it's Captain Hippo's product displacement series. Oh, good. Oh, man. Has this ever happened to you? Traditional garbage cans have maimed and disfigured dozens of people around the world. Even worse, with a normal garbage can, it often takes one, two, three tries to get your garbage into the can. That's why we invented the Human Garbage Can. For only $8.99 a month, we will supply you with a board-certified human garbage can. Just hand them your trash, and they'll take care of the rest. No mess, no fuss, and no more tears. Cat litter. Big ZD. Toilet drippings. The human garbage can can handle it all. Don't worry, they'll never judge. These cans are completely self-sufficient. Exemplary service 24 hours a day. Each human garbage can comes with a two-year manufacturer's warranty. We'll replace a defective can, no questions asked. Order yours today. It is against company policy to sexually engage the human garbage can. Oh. You know what this party needs? I'm not sure, miss. Dancing. You got a ghetto blaster? I got a boom box. Same thing. Can't borrow it. Oh, I don't know. I got my iPod in it. Give me your goddamn music machine, Eugene. We're the Gregory Brothers, and you're watching My Damn Channel Live. You guys, we're back. It's time to get into your comments. Also, we all just conversed about the the, the hair trail. Um, Brett, can you? Um, and we all decided that it's 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 the man it's the man trail. What did you say? Happy trail. But Brett's is kind of the Appalachian trail. <laughs> is what we think, because it starts all, you know. So we figure, don't worry. Well, we, anyway, this is from you guys. We have a tweet from trail. you guys. We're, we want to address yours. This is from TJ Zyko. Um, yes! Does Retta improv her lines much? I swear she does. Her delivery is so natural. She's a hoot. I'm a hoot. I got that's, that twice that, yesterday. That's true. Uh, sometimes. The, the, the line in the water balloon episode, the, the water fight episode where I say, do I look like I drink water? That was improvised. Amazing. Um, <laughs> this is my favorite of your life. But I don't, uh, but n most of the times it's just the scripted stuff that gets on. Well, they need to pay you more because that's my favorite line. <laughs> Next tweet is from Kristen App, um, or APP, on Parks and Rec. Donna gives tons of dating advice. Any chance you were going to see her on a date? That's a I, good question. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. <laughs> and she just followed me. I saw that she must have been one of your followers because I just saw that she just started following me. Well, she's a follower. This is live. Yeah. See? How, ugh. Um, what's your name? Extreme, Nin Extreme, Extreme 29? 29. Come on. Another Twitter, another Twitter question from Lily O'Mara is, what went down between Lavandrius and Donna? Also, Genuine needs to make a cameo. Make it happen, Retta. Um, I believe Genuine wants to be on the show, so there's a chance he'll get on if we can schedule it. Uh, Lavandrius borrowed my car, you know, the Bezo, and didn't bring it back in time. And so you don't mess with my ride. Right. And so we have issues. That's, yeah, you're done. Comment from YouTube is from TrulyBlonde237. <laughs> Don Weagle is my spirit animal. I get that a lot. You do? I get that a lot. Yeah. How do you feel about I, that? I thought it was weird at first. I didn't I didn't know that was a thing. And I was like, what is that? Don't call me an animal. What does that mean? <laughs> and you're like, and then oh, I thought, you're right. You're like, oh, thank cool. you. Okay. So I accept it. That's great. That's <laughs> very cool. Another comment from YouTube is from Call Me Carson. For Retta is Aziz and sorry. Did I spell that right? Huh? <laughs> as funny in nope. person as he is on the show. Yeah, so the first part. You did no. not spell that right. It's okay. The last name has an S. Um, and he's way hilarious in person. It's true. Yeah. You know Aziz? Well, no, but I mean, I can, you know, I'm a pretty good judge of how okay. people are. In got it. <sighs> Another tweet is from uh, Lady Fresh Fresh. Stevens. Yeah. Your skin is so amazing. Any secrets or just lucky? Uh, just lucky. I get it from my mother. Yeah. Um, but I will say, 
I use um, I use FX powder. On the face. Yeah, get those plugs in there. Get them in. Get them in. <laughs> and also, if, if you don't already, I mean, then just send her more of the products. She deserves it. Please. A tweet from Becca Burrows. Do you relate to your character on Parks and Rec? Um, what percentage of are you? What percentage of you is a Retta? What percentage? Hi, prepositions. <laughs> what percentage of, Donna. of Retta is Donna? Oh, what percentage of Retta is Donna? Um, probably fifty percent. Yeah. Um, yeah. The only thing I don't vibe on is the hair and the clothes because mm. she dresses like she lives in Pawnee. Right. And I refuse to dress like I live in Pawnee. Appar I mean, clearly. That's, that's a good that's a good thing to keep in the character zone, you know what I'm saying? that wardrobe. One more tweet. This is from Blue Gray 11 for Retta. If a wizard turned the Parks and Rec cast into various animals, what would they be? Don't exclude Jerry. <laughs> what would they be? Um, Ron Swanson would be a badger. Mm. I think that Tom Haverford would be a very fancy squirrel. <laughs> uh, like with a tie. Like a little bit disheveled yeah. tie. Like I wore this for like fashionable tie, not a yeah. Not a skinny tie. I'm sorry. Continue. Um Leslie Nope mm -hmm. would be a very eager rabbit. <laughs> um and a Jerry, lot of woodland creatures. Of course, because it's Indiana. Right. And Jerry would be a sloth. Yep. And what would you be? What would I be? A sexy fox. Yep. What? Well, you didn't, didn't have to include the sexy. That's implied. Or we, I mean, but we like that. Of course. Yes. Oh, sexy man. fox. You guys, thank you for sending those in. We would answer them all day, but we can't because it's happening on our show. We'll be hanging out afterward on Twitter. So maybe at the Beth Hoyt with all of your questions, concerns, and queries, which are really just, they're just, they're fancy questions. Um, we're getting dangerously close to our live dance performance. So you need to fill up on energy calories. But um, it's another episode right now of the shortest comedy series on the internet. It's the John Friedman Internet Program on the World Wide Web. It's the John Friedman Internet Program on your World Wide Web. Okay, sure. It's the John Friedman Internet Program on your World Wide Web. Work lives. I spend the whole night drinking. Hey, Alex, do you mind turning the radio off? I have a lot of work to do. Oh, yeah, yeah right after this song. I'm serious, I have a ton of work to do. Would you please turn it off? It's, it's not even that loud, Jen. I mean, I'm, it's just the one song. Please. I'm serious. I'm serious. Turn it off. Make me. Just turn it off. Turn it off, Alex. The image. Okay. What? All right. what are you doing? Okay. Turn it off. Turn, bitch. I'm sorry. Did you just call me a bitch? Yeah, I did, pussy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're in my house. Well, I turned it off. You can't just sucker punch me. What am I supposed to do? Fight like a man, bitch. All right. Okay. You wanted it? You got yeah. it. Let's see what you yeah. got. I've been waiting for this. Really? Yeah. I dream about this. I okay. Fucking destroy you. Come on, let's see what you got, Loke. Yeah. Loke, Loke. All right, all right. Just go to sleep. <laughs> hey, what are you guys doing? She's trying to turn off my radio. Alex is a prick. This is not how you settle things. Now let's do this clean and fair. Ultimate fighting rules. No biting, no hitting below the belt, and no office equipment. Let's get it on. Come on, right here, right here, come on. Oh, all right, okay! Ah! You don't touch my radio! Ah! Ah! Oh! oh, you said no biting! Okay, come on now. It looks like Alex and Jen are finally going to settle things. You're going to see it. Yeah? Come on, come on. I got 20 on Jen. Right. I do, I will take that. Peter in the face. Oh, what? what? Cleaned up. Who, who taps out after going off the
the top rope, man. That hoe right there. Hey. Good work here today. Really good. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Woo! You don't touch my radio. Okay. You don't touch my radio. Okay! Get off of my internet. Did you see that, guys? The Webby Award winning series, You Suck at Photoshop, is back on my damn channel. And we have a brand new episode next Wednesday on The Big Show. Yay! Okay, this is it. It's the big dance number. Are you ready, Retta? I am. Wish us luck! Ready? like beating outside of my chest. We did it, thank you so much Rita, for being here. That almost broke me. Wow. Uh, I'm so Brett, thrilled Brett, I think I'm gonna meet that fan. Yeah, man, bring that I mean, in. Gosh, you guys, that was thrilling. Daily Grace is here tomorrow. I'm back on, when, on Friday. Next Wednesday, Eugene Merman will be my special guest. Thank you for watching. Whatever you're feeling, just dance it.